If you're struggling with how to make a custom books review website with Cadence Blog inside Gutenberg, today's video I walk you through step by step what you need to do so you can set up on your own website business. So without any further ado, let's get started. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, I am naturally I'm from Portugal. In this channel, I talk about all things related to WordPress websites. At the moment, I got these four plugins, Cadence Free Blocks, Cadence Blocks Pro and WooCommerce. We need two more free plugins in order to create our custom post type and to create extra content fields associated with our custom content. So install and activate the custom post type Y plugin, do a quick search for custom post type, Click once, install, and then once more to activate. Then do a search for ACF plugin, install, and activate. Once they have been activated, you easily find the two sections within your WordPress admin dashboard. Click on the head new to head a custom post type called book for the slag and the plural and the singular labels. In order to work fine, make sure you enable the setting in the, the settings section, the option that has archive to true. You don't need to give it a name, just set it to true. If you want to, to add a menu icon, choose the dash icon option. In the support section, I activate as well the custom fields option and the post formats. Save the post type. Here it is my custom post type. Next step is to create taxonomies for my custom post type. By doing so, I am organizing my custom post type by group categories. To add taxonomies, add new, the taxonomy slug is book categories. I also assign the plural and the singular. The final step is to associate it with my books custom post type. So tick the checkbox to books and save the taxonomy. This is what it looks like. If you over over the books menu, you easily find the taxonomies, books categories. Now let's add some extra fields. So head over to the ACF section, add new field. I call it book details. In the rules section, I determine that these fields are to be shown on the book custom post type and show this post type is equal to book. And then click add field button. The first field I called book description. To immediately assume its name, just press the tab key from your keyboard as this is, extensive, this is an extensive area, I define it to be a text area. I had a new field, this is about the author. To have the author bio as a text area or duplicate the first field and then change the label. The third one is page count as a number field type. And the last one is release data with a date time picker type field and publish. Let's now add some book items. Click on books, add new. This task is similar to when you are writing a regular blog post. The difference is with custom post type, you are creating your own content. Posts and pages, posts and pages for WordPress is, are the most common post types. I call it book one. And then I paste here some Lorem Ipsum text. Make sure from your right sidebar you have the book categories, just like a normal blog post. As for me, I assign the error category. Press the enter key. Also, make sure you upload the feature image. I also fill in the extra fields created with the ACF plugin. Add two more book items with different categories. Now let's create the books page. Navigate over to your WordPress admin dashboard pages and add new. This is going to be a blank page. I call it books. You can name wherever you want and publish the page. On the front end, we only view the title, the body and the feature image. What about the ACF fields we just added add in? We achieve this by using the Cadence Blocks Pro dynamic feature. Let's proceed now.
Before that, let's customize the layout. Click on any of your custom post type and edit with the Gutenberg edit. Inside the customizer, click on custom post types. You can actually adjust the design layout for the single book page and the books or cup page and for the categories pages. To do that, click on the single book layout and let's quickly play around. I changed the title layout to be center aligned, a full width container, the title I like to be left side, under the title element section I toggle on the categories by clicking on the eye symbol, then expand the options by clicking on the down arrow, under the choose taxonomy, selected the book categories with a underlined style. Now you are showing the book category. This is my single books page. I click on the category, horror. Now let's add dynamically the ACF field. So click book one and edit. Click on the edit, click on the plus icon. I had it in and one single cadence row container. The ACF fields comes here after the main content. Select the row layout from the left sidebar. From the right sidebar under the background settings, I place here a light gray color. I had it in an advanced heading. I type in book description. From the heading toolbar, I reduce the font size and then click inside the blank space and click on the the dynamic content icon. Under the custom field I have selected my first ACF field to pull in the book description. Scroll down and select dynamic content button. Add the second advanced heading block or enter the slash from your keyboard. From the custom field I have selected this time the about author field. I changed the HTML tag. I had the two more cadence advanced heading blocks as this is a block with dynamic content capabilities. You could instead duplicate the first advanced heading block to bring in all the ACF fields associated with I want to have here a share element so my user is able to share with his friends this book. I had the first column row. Inside there I place a new cadence lottie block. It's a new brand cadence block in order to bring in some useful animations to engage your audience. Is the default WordPress logo animation. In the source file, you can select from a remote URL, and below the Lottie animation URL, it's loading from Lottie assets file. This is an option for you to utilize. If you go to lottiefiles.com, you can do a quick search for your item here. Have search for share. You will find the one you like to use. I like this one. I click on it. Inside there you can download the Lottie, the Lottie file or edit the animation speed, the background color and even embed on your own website. You can also edit the layer colors. Let's copy and paste this URL to replace the default WordPress logo animation. The item is too large. I select the cadence section. On the margin I insert a minus 300 pixel stop margin. It looks better now to me. In modern websites you can use animations to show users what they should do next. To make the item clickable it's pretty easy. Select the section and on the overlay leak section I type in the cart page and press the enter key and update. So what I want to do is to create a custom menu for my books categories. So navigate to the customize menus and click on create menu. I give it a name, books, and click on add items. You should view now the book section. Click on the plus, you will see the books categories sections. And click on the plus icon to add your menu link items such as the books categories. To create the archive page, create a new page called Archive. Added a cadence block. Posts block. 
are my blog posts. To display your custom post type, select from your right sidebar within the Select Post Type and pick up the book item. Under Select Taxonomy, select the book categories or a specific category. And see, it's super easy to create your own books review website with Cadence Blogs inside Gutenberg. If you have any questions, please leave them on the comments section below. I'm always happy to help. If you enjoyed the video, please take a second to subscribe to the channel. It's free, it means a lot to me, and it only takes one second. Forget to smash the bell icon so you get notified when I release new content. Thank you so much for watching.